Hi, this is Info Puppet, and we're going to talk about the most powerful selection tool in Photoshop Elements. It's the Magnetic Lasso Tool. Let's go ahead and find it on the toolbar. We're going to go ahead and scroll down, and it's right over here, the Magnetic Lasso Tool. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in real close on this image for you, because I need to point out something about the cursor. You start drawing from the lower point of the triangle. Left click, hold, and release not hold. So I'm just moving my mouse. That's all I'm doing. I'm not holding down on a click. And the magnetic lasso tool is finding the difference between my subject's arm and the water. Okay? Now let me give you an idea. Let's say we make a mistake here. This is the best part about the tool. I'm going to purposely make a mistake here and I've got an anchor there. All I have to do is hit the back button on my keyboard. Boom! And it's gone. I'm going to do it one more time. Boom! And I can start over again and I can also draw my own anchor points, little squares, by left clicking and releasing. Okay? So here, the magnetic lasso tool is doing everything. I'm just moving my mouse. Now, up here, uh, I think we'll have a little trouble. And, uh, see what I mean? Uh, nope, don't like that. So I'm going to left click and release and draw my own anchor. Okay? Now, the magnetic lasso tool is doing everything. I'm just moving my mouse close to the edge of my subject. And so, and it's separating it from the boat and now separating her skin from his skin and again this is a very powerful tool I'm going to go ahead and uh, try that again there okay I, I left clicked hold, and released I created my own anchor the little square and we're going down again but this is a great tool to really get a good selection of your subject I'll give you an, here again that's I don't like that I'm gonna hit the back button on my keyboard boom and now I'm going to left click and release to draw my own anchor, the square. Okay? But again, most of the time you're just going to move your mouse and the magnetic lasso tool is going to do all the work for you. Okay? So let's uh, go ahead and go up to the head now. And don't worry about any hair that's not in there. We'll let those little strands that are flying in the wind, that's fine. And we're coming back around. Now this is really important. We're getting to the beginning of our selection again. So let's go down now uh, past her face, okay, I didn't like that, so hit the back button on the keyboard, I'm going to left click and release and draw my own anchor, and now watch, we're to the beginning now, the first anchor, and I'm going to forget about this little hair here, I'm just going to click there near the chin, that's okay that that's not in the selection, but now look, we're getting real close, here's what I want you to see, see how the cursor changes, that little circle pops up, left click and release, and now the whole thing turns into a selection. But look guys, what's wrong with this picture? Do you see something wrong with this picture? There is. This area right in here, has, we don't want to select all that water in between her arm and her stomach. So if you alt and left click and release, the magnetic lasso tool lets you add to your selection. Okay, I just alt left click and release or command left click and release for Mac. And I'm telling you, this is a great tool, and now I'm, the little circle appears, it's a little harder to see this time, but there it is, and now I'll left click and release, and now I've got the girl in the red bathing suit perfectly selected. But now I'm going to select inverse, and that means that everything but the girl in the red bathing suit is selected. Now you can see the outlines going around the entire picture, so everything's selected but the girl in the red bathing suit. Now we can have some real fun. So let's go to the... Um, adjust lighting and let's select brightness and contrast. Now look what's going to happen if I turn the brightness down. Everything gets dimmed except for the girl with the red baby. So you can really have your subject pop out of the picture when you do this. But now I'm going to show you something even better. Let's get rid of the brightness and contrast window. I'll click OK. Now let's go back up to the enhance. And this time we're going to select adjust color and use saturation. This is really good stuff here. Now watch what happens when we decrease the U. You can make the other subjects skin colors and a lot of different colors change to really have some pretty crazy effects. But look what happens when I turn the saturation down. You get that classic look where you have your subject in color and everything else around that's in black and white. Okay, now let's go ahead and click uh, OK. Get rid of the U saturation window. And I'll show you the last thing that you can do. Of course, you have a great selection here. Everything but the girl selected. 
I just hit D select command and the D or Alt and the D. But um, we're going to get the selection back on and now I'm going to go up to inverse again. So now just the girl in the bathing suit selected and I just selected the move tool and now I can left click and hold and drag her out of the image. And there you go. That's the magnetic lasso tool. The most powerful selection tool in Photoshop Elements. Thanks for watching from Info Puppet.